Hello, miners, and welcome to tonight's main event. And in this corner, we have the Tucson TS302. Hey guys, Ruth coming at you. I am going to do a review on a Tucson TS302. Uh, as far as I can tell right now, this is the only uh, review out there. I'm going to shoot this a couple weeks before I release this. And I'm going to name this one the Flex, if it hasn't been named yet. So let's get into the Flex. Well, yeah, look at that thing. Woo! All right, all right. You might be thinking... Rusty, what in the heck is wrong with you? That's not really that impressive. Okay. All right. Well, guys, this is a Mazwan Mokthar design, and it's integral. This is all one piece of titanium. So, we are flexing... Tucson is flexing with, you know, it's just a plain old utility cutter. But they put it in one piece of titanium. So just imagine what they have to do to cut this out. Mill these little pieces. I'll get into the knife here. Uh, it's a screwdriver, flat bladed. It's a pry bar. I don't know about you guys, uh, this can come in real handy when you uh, are taking apart your knives. Sometimes it's nice just to get in there and give them a pry. And then you can do a replaceable blades, razor blades in here. So could anodize this. They're running about $69 on Amazon. And of course, got this from Tangly. And... Uh, we got a little thing going, he and I. I won't tell you how it's working, but I'm getting some great. We got a good friendship, guys. Uh, so, what we do here is when we, let's see if I will show you from this side. If we take and fly this razor blade forward, it's going to hit that little piece right there. Now, we're going to push and uh, slide it backwards and lo and behold it hits that piece right there so this razor blade is just going to be you know back and forth between the two you got some really nice jimping here you can almost see how let's see if you can see how it sticks on my my fingers and then we have the titanium, like I said, screwdriver slash pry bar. And I do have, I spent like 45 bucks on a Tucson pry bar. Of course it was anodized, but this would be a perfect thing to customize for yourself. Nice and slim, you can put it in your pocket. Hardly weighs anything. You don't really have to worry about this blade coming forward because of the way it's designed. You know, you just uh, need to take and push it forward. And then if you get your, as long as your thumb, <laughs> if your thumb's getting some grip, there you are. You know, set up nicely and boom, and it's away. And it's not going to move unless you push it in so I, I like the design I like the tool I like the idea uh, it's a pry bar it's a utility knife some people really dig utility knives when I was a my first job in high school was a box boy carry out clerk whatever you want to call it and my first day uh, I set my hand I gave they gave me a, a box knife which I loved and I set my hand on top of the box and I was cutting and you know how they say you know you the back of your hand I think it's right there so anyways that's for another day let me know what you guys think 
Thanks for tuning in.